Welcome to the Sock Puppet News Channel, your source for breaking news and bad jokes. Today's story robots run a half marathon. Slowly more on this story from Penelope P. Sockworth right after you like and subscribe. Thanks, Brock. As the story reads here, I don't want to boast, but I think no other robotics firms in the West have matched Tiangong's sporting achievements. A key takeaway is this quote from ex-humanoid's chief technology officer Tang Zhang highlights the significant gap between human and robot performance, with the winning robot needing human assistance to cross the finish line. Norman T. Sneeze. Thanks for that, Penelope. Makes me think of this takeaway every other robot needed at least three hours to complete the race, and only four robots in total managed to finish ahead of the four-hour cutoff time. With this statement emphasizes the limited success of the robot participants, with most struggling to even finish within a reasonable time frame. What do you think, Zelda P. Fjordson? You bring up a great point, Norman. What stood out to me was when Anthony Ha wrote, Tiangong Ultra needed human assistance to win specifically a human who ran ahead with a signaling device on his back, enabling the robot to imitate his movements. I couldn't help but wonder. This quote underscores the reliance on human involvement and support for robots to achieve even basic success in a competition. In my opinion, Zelda brings up a good point like Tiangong Ultra needed human assistance to win, specifically a human who ran ahead with a signaling device on his back, enabling the robot to imitate his movements. I couldn't help but wonder this quote underscores the reliance on human involvement and support for robots to achieve even basic success in a competition. Knock knock. Who's there? Robot. Robot who? We're just trying to improve our wireless performance. Well that concludes another moment of your life wasted on sock knock jokes and news. Don't forget to like subscribe and leave your complaints in the comments section.